Hey guys, today we're going to be playing Barking Monastery. It's a really cool level, um, pretty lengthy, we have a lot to do. It's a ginormous level. And um, there's also monks that help fight for us, as you'll see right here. Um, and also, if we accidentally, like, let's say we shoot the monks by accident, they will all go after us and chase us and fight us, so. All right, so this is a pretty simple mm -hmm. level to get through without a medical pack. It's just kind of a mm -hmm. long one and you kind of need to be careful. Our goal is to find five prayer wheels that are all kind of strung out along the temple. And uh, it's just a lot. <laughs> I would say most people, it takes about 45 minutes to complete this level. I wasn't kidding when I said it was a long one. I'm going to try and reduce damage as much, much as I can. going to be two crows up here. Oops. <laughs> well. Is it stuck? I feel like he might be stuck. Oh, there we go. I think my dog's mad. Okay. Okay, just shimmy over here. And we're gonna have to jump through the windows to enter the monastery, which is kind of funny you know does every monk do this <laughs> to get into the temple <laughs> and the thing about this is there's really not an exact specific way to do things oops oh no ah i don't want him to get any shots off on me he drops anything <clears throat> but out here is um a pickup some grenades uh -huh. anytime you see monks running it usually means there was a guy spawned somewhere like whenever we run in here there's going to have a few monks run past us as you just saw and you know you can go help just, uh, you know, be careful. Lara targets whoever is closest to her. Just so you know. Whoops. Oh, gosh. Ah! Oh, no! <laughs> Sounds like they got him. He dropped Uzi clips and a small medical pack. Good job, you guys. Okay. Now we're gonna climb up this ladder, obviously, and get a key. We'll also get to see just how big some of these um, parts of this temple are. Uh -huh. Here's the key. And yes, look at this. Look at this room. 
We have beautiful music. Very nice level. One of my favorites for sure. It's just so long. There's going to be a boulder trap here. So just run across here. And then there's going to be some flare pickups, but don't pick it up because another boulder is going to spawn. Uh -huh. Pick these up and turn to the left. All right, we're going to fall into a pool now. We need to stay on the edges here. This pool tries to suck you in, okay? So just try your best to not be sucked in. <laughs> All right. You're going to want to light a flare because it's very dark in here and there are some good oh clang clang doors some toothy doors except these aren't toothy doors they're just doors there's about three of these guys so just be cautious Just fine. But yep, five prayer wheels is what our goal is, and um, it takes a good chunk of time to get them all, so. Okay, we're about to fight another guy. Oops, I'm gonna go ahead and spawn him. Hopefully this monk can take care of him. Oop. I'm so scared to accidentally shoot the monk. Oh no. Well, that means that we have to fight another guy on our own, unfortunately, so. I feel so bad. So it's quite dark in here, as you can tell. I don't guess he dropped anything. Here's our first prayer wheel. Uh -huh. It lights up immediately. What I do is I run and jump, and then do a standing jump. Oof. Okay, now we're gonna move some of these boxes around. We're going to um, unblock a doorway so that we can leave this area. Okay. Um, yes, turn to the right here. Yeah, there's lots to do here. This should look familiar. So now we have the main hall key. If you ever get confused on like where you need to go next or anything like that, um, just look at like your items. Because more than likely, you have a key that might give you a little bit of a hint on where to go. That's at least what I do. While we were away, a monk looks like he had a showdown with a guy. It doesn't look like he dropped anything, though, unfortunately. Good job, man. I have to, like, give the monks a pep talk because some of their brothers are going to pass away. 
So the main hall key goes right here um, down this hall where these big double doors are. Okay. Got a notification. Okay. And while we're at it, we're going to spawn some guys. No, not the monks. Oh, please be safe. <laughs> oh my gosh. They're really, oh nice. Get the pickup. <laughs> oh, please be careful. <laughs> nope, not me. <gasps> oh no. Here comes another guy. Look at him. Aren't they awful? Please get him. Nice. Good job, you guys. I'm sorry you lost one of your own. <laughs> uh <-huh. coughs> Excuse me. Okay, we got a small medical pack. Uh -huh. And uh, some automatic pistol ammo. I'm going to head this way. Be very careful. Um, there are some like sword thingies in the wall that want to chop your legs off. There's nothing down the rest of the corridor, just so you know. Uh -huh. Alright, this key is the strong room key, okay? The strong room key is in one of the areas that we first visited. Um, do you remember when we first entered the temple and I went and got the grenades outside the window? That is the strong room key. So we're gonna go back there. Okay. Oh, I guess I never got this pickup. Uh -huh. It's weird. Automatic pistol ammo. Strong room. More like weak room. Uh -huh. <laughs> Alright, and this key is the rooftop key, which is out um, in the hallway again. You might hear like those that noise, that's the uh, rooftop area, or at least it's the area that leads to where we need to put the key. So, just be careful. Take your time. And usually the keys match the um, keyhole. So like that was red, and um, well so is uh, the key. <laughs> Okay, we're now on the rooftop. We're gonna go flip a switch to turn off those flames. And they're timed, so. Sorry, Laura. They give you a lot of time though, so you really shouldn't have too much of a problem. The decoration can stop you from jumping a lot, so every now and again, you might wanna scoot forward. Okay, and we made it just fine. Some guys have spawned. I'm gonna go ahead and get some ammo. Hopefully they can take care of it. Uh -huh. Oh my. I get like so anxious watching them. There's one guy down. Nice. Yay. The 
this guy drops uh -huh. Uzi ammo. And this guy uh -huh. drops a small medical pack. All right. We're going to get some gems to pick up. We can't jump through those glass panels for some reason. Like, uh -huh. we have to shoot them out. So use whatever you uh -huh. want for that. If you're doing a no pistols run, you know, you have to use something else. Okay. Next, we're going to head up here. And we're going to use one of the gems that we just picked up. Now, what's funny is, these gems are so little, they're gemstones, you know, they're microscopic almost. And when she puts it in here, hmm, it's huge! It's like stabbing her in the, look, it's right, why? Why is it like that? I need to know. Alright, now we're getting our second prayer wheel. We need to pull this box out twice. I might save soon, too, because we've gotten a lot done, actually. I don't want to have to do it all over again, you know? So maybe once I get this prayer wheel, I will save. Uh -huh. Nice. Okay. So, now we have doo -doo -doo, two prayer wheels. We need five, so we need to get three more. Oh. Hello? <laughs> okay. Let's head back. All right. Again, be careful. These monks can just pass through as they wish. Okie dokie. I don't think we have any keys, do we? No, we just have these gemstones. So, what I'm going to do now is going to go I'm going to go ahead and get our first secret. And we're going to get our secrets pretty much back to back this episode. The first secret is back here behind the shrine. Right in the back of him. Something about this seems blasphemous to me. I, I don't know. Putting something uh -huh. like a value like that in the back of a shrine. I don't know, you guys. <sighs> okay. Now I'm going to head in here, and we're going to move some of these blocks around, um, because there's some items underneath them. Oh, excuse me, Mr. Monk. Sorry. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> oh my. These monks, man. <laughs> there's something else. The idea here is um, we're going to line up some of these boxes so that the box up there on top in the upper left corner can be pulled out because there's also an item beneath it. done. You can see there's an item back there. It's some harpoons. Uh -huh. Okay. 
Going to push this out of the way now. We don't need this here anymore. We're not like the monks where we can just teleport through things. They really must be pretty powerful. So what we're going to do now is um, spawn some enemies. So I really hope they don't get hurt. Ah! Oh my gosh, they're right here. Oh. I don't know if I can help. This is the hard part about this. Oh. Good job, you guys. Uh -huh. <laughs> he dropped some grenades, and this guy dropped some Uzi ammo. Uh -huh. All right. Phew. Okay. This is the part I have the worst time with. <laughs> I'm likely to die a lot. I highly recommend that you save. Um, I really don't know how to explain how to do this, because I always mess up. But see the left little spiky thing? I start running whenever it's, like, faced towards me. Um, and obviously I still get hurt. <laughs> Maybe I need to be a little closer. Let me try that. Dang it. There's also going to be another secret soon. It's not hard to get. It's just getting to it is the hard part. This isn't specifically for a secret either. This is... Oh boy. Oh, dang it. No. If I die again after this, um, I'll probably just, um, you know, like, s switch to, like, when I actually make it. I hate how I always take health. I wish there was an easier way to do this. <gasps> oh, I made it. <laughs> it's really weird because every time I'm like, oh, if I die again after this, you guys, I'll just switch to when I make it. And then I usually make it <laughs> after I say that. Maybe I need to say that every time. Okay, so now we're gonna go get the secret. We just have to wait for this spinny blade to pass. Oh, well, we should probably wait now. As you might have heard, there are some clang clang doors. Can't see. As a girl without a look button, they made this hard for me. All right. Okay. We finally made it! <laughs> Alright, let's get this key. You would think they'd give us a prayer wheel for that, but nope, just a key. <laughs> I'm saving again. <laughs> Alright. The key that we got is the trapdoor key, which is in that main hall, that huge, huge area. And then we're going to fall into this pool and we're going to get our last secret. Yeah, that's it already. It's in this little crawl space here. All right, they give us 
tons of M16 ammo, so that's definitely going to come in handy. Alright, so the trap door, like I said, is in the main hall. What a cool level, right guys? It's so thorough. We have some monks glitching out over there. They're having a party, like a rave or something. So, this right here, I'm going to try and use my M16, is going to open up to, like, the main hall area, and it's also going to spawn some guys. they drop anything. I don't think that they do. Okay. Anyway. Let's keep going. Oh, we need to go this way, actually. That roof was glitching. Did you guys notice that? Barkong, Barking Monastery is, uh, they're having some problems. This brings us out to, like, this little canyon-y area. We're going to have some crows to kill, and, um, also, a, a, like, a gun guy. <laughs> Just make your way up here. Oh, I got another notification. <laughs> I'm popular today, I guess. Sometimes this crow doesn't like to spawn for me. And then I have to fight the crow and the gun guy at the same time. And it's a real pain in my neck. So hopefully I can get him to spawn this time. Okay. And I like to try and take care of this guy at a distance just to reduce damage. Oh, but there he is. Oh no. Okay, I'll see you guys back at the spot. Okay, you guys, I'm back. I'm gonna try and take out this guy first. And then we'll take care of the crow. <laughs> I don't know why it gives me so much trouble like it does. But gosh, it sure does. He gives us M16 ammo. And then we gotta take out two more crows, but be careful because there's a monk walking around here, okay? And we don't wanna shoot him. Okay. Oops. Oh, well that didn't work at all. <laughs> okay. Let's try again. Drop yourself in here. And here is our next prayer wheel. What number is this? I don't know. We'll have to check. Uh -huh. That's our third one. Once you open this door, a guy's gonna be spawned, just so you know. Hmm. Just really be careful. <gasps> no. Alright. He drops some shotgun shells. 
Um, sometimes people like it if you, like, kill the monks, but I'm not gonna kill the monks. I like them too much. I feel so bad whenever they get hurt. So I'm just not going to. <laughs> Maybe one day. <laughs> I almost always mess up this jump, too. <gasps> Laura, please. Okay. So next, let's see, do we have any keys? No. So next we're going to go back into the main hall. And there are a few places I just haven't visited yet. Oh, sounds like there's a battle going on. They're not usually here for me. Oh, do you need help, friend? Oh, no, okay. I was about to be like, there wasn't a dead monk here before. <laughs> okay. Now that we're in here, we're going to head over this way. Um, the place that we went to trigger those guys before. Actually, I'm going to check in here. Actually, mm, no, not in here. Um, hmm. Oh, okay, never mind, never mind, sorry. My brain <laughs> went kind of crazy for a second. We're going to go in here, which is what I meant originally, but I need to check something in that hall that's uh, further into the main hall room. Okay. So right now we're going to go put in that second gym. Be careful of these flames, okay? And you don't have to grab onto this either. She'll uh she'll make it fine. No, we don't need that there. <laughs> Another small but also large gemstone. And this opens a trapdoor inside the shrine. I always feel like I'm going to overshoot this. I'm going to save, actually. <laughs> Please don't. Ah! Okay, she did it just fine. get down safely, you just slide right off his shoulder and you'll la land in his lap. Oh, I took damage from that. Oh, well. The area I was wanting to um, look at is in here where we pushed all those boxes around. We did not venture further into here, so that's what we're going to go do now. Be careful of this. This opens when you jump over it. You're going to want to shoot out this glass and quickly tumble over because there are going to be guys here. And these monks are going to go crazy because there's bad guys that they can sense they need to fight, but they can't access them yet because the door is closed. But we're going to go get our next prayer wheel. Lots of things to climb, so it takes a little bit. Plus, we've got crazy, really upset monks in the background. Here's our fourth prayer wheel. Uh -huh. Okay, 
And to get down quickly, all you gotta do is just tap back and safely let yourself down. And you can do this all the way. You can even do it with the last ladder. Um, the only issue is I think you might take a little bit of damage. So instead you can just jump onto the ladder. Oops, I need to go with the other side. They're still pretty upset. <laughs> Okay, so now we're going to go open this door so they can fight like they want. <laughs> I guess these aren't really passive monks. <laughs> Have fun, you guys. We'll watch in case they need our help. Uh-oh, there's one monk down. <gasps> oh no. This isn't going very good. Oh no, this is not good. <sighs> Man. <sighs> I'll see you guys back at the spot. Okay, you guys, we just thoroughly kicked their butts and I aided them a bit more this time. Uh -huh. So I'm glad it went differently. Okay, let's go get some of these pickups. I think three of the guys leave pickups and one of them doesn't. Yes. Okay, so no monk deaths down here this time, so that is very good to know. All right. So now, let's see. We need to go get the very last one. Woo! Make sure you grab there. There's a ladder, thankfully. If you miss the jump. And in order to drain the pool to get the last prayer wheel. We need to go underneath the shrine statue. And we do it in kind of like an unorthodox fact fashion definitely some tomb raider logic applied here which is this is actually my favorite example of tomb raider logic <laughs> okay so there's the pool right here we flip the switch to open a door behind us and inside this door is a waterfall and a box i guess this waterfall is what is um filling this pool up and in order to stop the water flow and completely drain the pool, we just push this box in front of the waterfall and it completely dries it up somehow. And we are, you know, free to go into the pool <laughs> as we wish. I would recommend sliding off backwards so you don't take away any health. There's that pillar with the box underneath it. We push it to get to our last prayer wheel. All right. Uh -huh. Okay, as you can see, we have all five of them. So now it's time to go put those bad boys in their place. The place where you put the prayer wheels in is right beside the shrine. 
statue. So we just haven't really gone around. Ugh, I'm stuck to that side yet. But it's uh, it's very easy to find. It's just a little bit out of, I guess, her point of view, really. These monks are probably why there's a crazy British woman just, you know, jumping for joy. Okay, instead of going under the, sh the statue this time, we need to go around. And this is where we put the prayer wheels. One. Two. Aren't you guys glad I can count? <laughs> Three. Four. And then five. Those double doors are going to open and we're going to insert the serif into this big golden disc thingy on the wall. And it's going to open a door. It's <laughs> very anticlimactic. <laughs> and that's where we go to end the level. So let's get our stats. Okay, took us about 39 and a half minutes. We got all three secrets, 18 kills, and no medical packs used. Thanks guys for joining me today, and I'll see you guys next level. Bye!